That one tip, and so I'm going to start with you, Sean, uh, that one tip or advice that you want to give to our listeners and viewers, man. Yeah, I would say get organized early. Get all your paperwork together. Make sure you've got your down payment. You realize, you know where everything is going to come from, so there's no surprises or very few surprises at the end of the day. You know, you said, make sure, you know, we're all talking to each other the week of closing. That, that may be true. I, I aim to have it done weeks before that. Um, making sure that you have everything together makes the whole process much less stressful because it is a big transaction. You want to make sure that you've got everything taken care of early, sleep well at night, and just pack your bags. I love sleeping well at night, my friend. Mr. Mark Weisletter. Thank you. If I could give one piece of advice, don't do it yourself. Buying a home is not a do-it-yourself project. A lot of people just lose sight and think, oh, I can save all these fees. I don't have to pay a mortgage broker. I don't have to pay a real estate agent. I can just do this myself. Trust me, you will suffer more than you will ever know. And not every mortgage broker is the same. I can tell you this because there are some deals where on the day of closing, the lender just sends me an email. All conditions of the broker have been satisfied. The money is in your account. Another lender, 37 conditions mortgage broker has not satisfied. Money will be delayed. Go get an extension of your closing. Trust me, there is there are differences between good mortgage brokers. And same with realtors. You know, you get yourself, you check your references, but a good realtor uh, will protect you all the way through. I, and I can only tell you from all my experiences, dealing with people who try to do it themselves, they suffer. I love that your two tips and pieces of advice kind of are, are cohesive with each other, because if you do have a team, most of the time they're going to help you stay organized. So that was awesome. My one piece of advice, and I'm going to go really, really basic with it in terms of uh, a, a micro piece of advice, which is please get a rate locked in. I cannot stress the importance of that. The amount of thousands of thousands of dollars I've seen saved. And unfortunately, on the flip side of that, I've seen people spend because they just were lazy. It's sheer laziness, guys. If you're thinking about buying, I at times have just locked in interest rates for the heck of it in case I wake up one, one, one morning and my wife tells me she wants to move, at least I'm prepared, right? So lock in that interest rate. You guys owe me a steak for that because it's going to be thousands of dollars and I love vodka. So that's steak and vodka is my thing. <laughs> <laughs>